This is a request to create straight lines across the width of a quilt one inch apart and join them all together so that they will alternate when stitching. Um, so this is how I've actually got around it. I tried to do using a, a line using a panto and the IntelliQuilter didn't like that. So I'm going to create a block pattern instead and I'm going to make it 100 inches wide and 18 inches high, which is about the amount of throat space that most machines can handle. So we create the block, finished. We're going to go to the Geometrics folder and go find the straight line. And we're going to add that in. And it fills up the, uh, the entire space nearly. We could change the width just that little bit to get it to 100 inches. And I'm going to move it, let's undo that. We're going to move it so that it is locked in at the very top of the block. Okay, finished. I'm not going to add another block pattern just right now because what I actually want to do is repeat that pattern. And I want to repeat it with a one inch distance between it. And it's the Y repeat. And see how easy it is just to add this in now? until I've filled the block. Can do a couple of extras even quite easily just to get, uh, if you've got a, a large throat machine, you can create more. Finished and we have our basic pattern. Finished. We want to now sew that quilt. I'm just gonna get rid of that one. And we're gonna select the first line. And this is where the Panto Sequencing Assistance comes in really handy. And uh, we just touch that button and we can answer the questions on the screen. How do we want to, how do we want the rows quilted? Left to right or alternating? We're gonna choose alternating. And how do we want to join those rows? And we will do continuous stitching. So now all we do is sequence row by row or I could have touched the whole quilt and everything sequenced, ready to sew. Hit sew quilt, set your stitch length and you can go to start and it will start stitching. I'll just zoom out to full so you can see that the needle is, we did have it start at that end but that's fine and it would have stitched all of those rows continuously. So I just hope that helps you. When I tried to do this um, as a panto design, it actually locked up. It was too much for the IntelliQuilter to compute that many lines from when I changed the height from 12 inches to only one inch to make this design. Hope that helps, bye.